This is exploring to the south of Mexico City, southern area. The ubiquitous taco stands and juice stands are everywhere. Welcome to a new area. It's a green city, as you can see. People are enjoying their brunch. Suburban shopping area and a Walmart. Here people have a choice. Starbucks coffee, Ubiquitous, is next to Gandhi Cafe. Seems to be a rather interesting mixture. Stuffed toys. Center cultural. It's a cultural center. The location. Dutch parks. Very pleasant and green city. For fixing the parks, keeping it in order. There are flowers in the middle of the road. So certainly a love of nature. Can see. Can see these large parks, cobblestone roads in this area. You can see the design, this Mexican style is ordered. Plants are in zones. A similarity in a sense of the organization of a French garden. Bit is full. These trees very old. Parks have been designed over the years as well. The style of rubbish bin is more, I guess, artistic. You can see also a different social class here the wood chips underneath the children's play area. Not concrete. It's very organized, very modern, very safe. We have another one of these grand monuments. What a wonderful flagpole, no flag. Monument to General Avaro Oberogaron. Park de la Bombalia, Mexico City.
inside it's almost like a chapel up in the districts of Mexico so people walking in the park monument oh we're gone I wonder if the doors are ever open. It's a big chain. This is symbolic. Oh, we gone. Giant doors. Saving citizens. On one side is the military, on the other side are um, the farmers, peasants. Nice mural. Joining roller skates. It's quite a nice surface for it as well. This is art. Even the construction of a new building is art. The scaffolding. The crane. Beautifully designed. This is a spider of his feet, which is a sign of a new Netflix film. The Netflix seems to be very popular in Mexico as well. So that's very modern. The next corner also has a little fountain, a little park, Calota. Vendor, the market, advertisements, why not test for cancer or diabetes? On the other side of the park is a small area for artists. People are painting. It's like a little park for art. flowers. In fact, there's a very well-trimmed bougainvillea in the middle, several layers of different species. People coming here to display their art, photographs. Nice place to play in the water. Let's see if he falls in. Additional weaving. It's like an artist's corner here. It's the Library of the Revolution of Mexico.
So around the Casa de Risco. This is a plaza. Of Very pretty paintings. So the culture. Casa de Risco is over there. If we look in front of a park, there are so many paintings. I like the fountains that go up and down. So in this place, Casa de Risco. It's a small museum. It's free. Hopewood Street it would be quite chaotic to drive. So just imagine the patio in the past. People gather here, eat, party, enjoy the area. It's a fountain of water to keep it cool in the summer. Really pleasant. It's wonderful artwork. On the second floor, there are many rooms displaying different art. Forbidden to take pictures. We show different types of European art. And cities are common. style of the building, you see. The ceiling is wooden. So the European paintings. Many European and Spanish paintings. Small hexagonal doors. Rounded features on the stairs. Interesting architecture. So 
So they have these things upstairs. They have also a special exhibit on conflict. They also obviously have a construction going on. See the nature of this house. This area is still for elites, upper class. And we can see this man was well endowed. Isidro Cabello died in 1964, leaving this estate. display here, the great collection of European art. It's in December. It seems like the azaleas are full. They may be flowering the whole year round. It's in the ground floor of the museum. There's some images of the Virgin of Guadalupe. The symbolism. It's not allowed to take pictures, I understood. In the, in the second floor? Ah, yeah. Yeah. This is only the Virgin. Oh. Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. Guadalupe. I can learn Spanish from this. Mm. Las manos, la boca, los ojos. Los baños de con frío, el cristal de agua. Y entonces, hay dos meses antes, que han hecho el trabajo, que se ha hecho en el trabajo, que se ha hecho en el trabajo, que se ha hecho en el trabajo. Children are enjoying to play in the courtyards as they did for hundreds of years. Outside the market. Selling all sorts of crafts and goods. Very nice. Tapestries and straws. The traders may bring their cars. Some really nice pieces of art here. Artist at work. <laughs> Many people are trying to get a living for art. The city of culture. It's big enough of 20, 30 million people. You can support artists, you can support creativity. <laughs> the 
the square must have been the centre of much fun for many years. So let's go exploring a bit further around the district. Mixture of old and new. People are enjoying the streets. Selection. Hi. So many food and shops here. Prices are clear. They have to be good. Competition is around. Just a little taste of Mexico. It smells really good and appetizing. Well, the museum. Sumaya Plaza Loreto. Various items. It's around 3,000 years old. Charcoal period. outside from the plaza. This is a plaza somewhere and they provide as well as the shops the museum. It's a room five. Is it urns? Classic period. Mesoamerican American art. It's very interesting design of the zoomorphic pictures. Metate for grinding corn. Corn is still critical for the daily diet. Different periods. Pre classic, classic, post classic. Determine the period. It's a flower, sculpture of a flower. Maybe three thousand years old. I'm trying to look at different types of rock carving. There's also jewelry. Classic period. Different shade. Nicely displayed collection. 
plates. Indigenous cultures, photographs. Then the history of the revolution. camera development of photography So many photographs and pictures here. The family portraits, they provide us a picture of life, the labor, the work, of course, the well to do. We're more likely to have photographs taken and the family albums, a digital family album. Pictures of the upper class tended to have people working for them, and they still do. There is soap, and you can put the different images in and see what it looked like in the past. Some of the old books. Collections of photographs. So we start to see a large display. Images, camera rolls in past years. Taking a video, it's interesting to see how this technology of recording has developed so much over time. It's part of museum. It's the art.
these are arts from different parts of Mexico. You can see some of the costumes, some of the clothes people wear. positive nature of people is also represented in their clothes. Many beautiful girls in the pictures. It's a feature display. Here we have the traditional image of a man on a horse. Comparison between presidents signing of the agreements, ending of awards between America and Mexico. A revolution. I must say I'm the only person on a Saturday morning in this museum. It is free. It is off, uh, I guess, the beaten track for people. That's why. Not so many terrorists come here. This is a ritual. Some of these paintings we can see. Images. All the Aztec rituals. Cocoa tree. Shifting to the sun. Yeah, it's religious images. Montezuma. The features of the face don't exactly look Aztec. It's okay for the images, I guess. See here the Aztec culture celebrated. All of this is very popular art. Tenochtitlan. Interesting images across of what is Mexico today. This is the family de Val kneeling before the Virgin of Loreto. This is the Plaza of Loreto. Um, display of Renoir is coming. So this is a very interesting museum. It's a large rich foundation. It's in an old factory area. It's a shopping area. Shopping mall. Market shops. This is 
just like the one in the center. Also with Ponsettia. It's a fountain. And a modern art design. Cleaning the fountain. You can also buy art. Love your children. So the Somia Plaza shopping area is on the Avenue of Revolution, south of the center of Mexico City. Some large buildings in the vicinity, which are good landmarks. And it's on the line three of the metro system, close to two stops before the university stop. The evacuation centers are common here. Offices to Murano. Murano Tower. Road. Away from the bustle of a main street is a haven. It's the Plaza of Rio. It has houses on both sides. It's a nice neighborhood. Central bridges, even though there doesn't seem to be any water here. A nice park area. Very pleasant walking route. Just large areas in the States.
Paseo del Rio. Both sides in the center. This is urban space for peace, for nature, for trees. Exclusive area one imagines. We enjoy the serenity while we have it. So one can imagine houses such as the one we saw with the museum. Each of these, a castle or villa, is set apart from the road, apart from others. Some have been renovated to modern style. The cobbled streets make it beautiful, also can tell when the cars are coming. areas in the middle of Mexico City providing security for people. From eucalypt to palm trees. To the north it looks like getting to different type of area. local people emerging at lunchtime from their houses on a Saturday. On a very quiet street in the south we find here the Museum of Koala Alfredo Gato Rogi. A small example. This is the Museum Frida Kahlo, one of the most famous artists of Latin America. There's long queues of people. People waiting, eating. Souvenirs are available. It's a really long queue. It's a quiet streets. Interesting good blue house. the outside of the house. Through the car, Carlo and Diego Rivera lived together. They were married for many years and this is their house. Inside, painting, furniture. 
Uh, special displays. Frida Kalb. Yeah. blue house. So this house is a very large patio. Some beautiful trees. Temporary exhibits as well. Let me turn around. Different paintings. So she did different yes. paintings of herself. Interesting mixtures. This is a large complex. Largely, this has a wonderful collection. Certainly worth to see. You can see here Anahukali, the house surrounded by waters or lakes, was planned in the 1940s. Conceived from the start as a museum and city of arts, he used the on site volcanic rock, which came from a lava flow from the eruption of Mount Ixtal. He paid homage to pre Hispanic architecture. It's a patio of Tetehukan origin and serves as an open air theatre. So we have a galleries around this display. Different cactus. Volcanic rock. It's a large complex. So the two museums, Frida Kahlo, which is uh, his wife, and Diego Rivera, have the same combination ticket. This is much less popular. Pretty 
and be alone? Oh, like an ancient pyramid. Maybe it's like some place of Pukla, but not. It's still in tradition. Same as two snakes. These same as snakes. It's interesting design. But outside is Mexico. See the hills on top. This scenery is wonderful as well. There's 40,000 pieces of their house. 2,500 shown only. It's a view of Mexico City from on top. A pyramid. This is a wonderful collection of art. Some of the 40,000 pieces from the warehouse on display. Quite south of the center of Mexico City. A panoramic view of the surrounding hills of Mexico City. You can see the volcano, extinct volcanoes. It looks like there's smoke coming from it now. Who built this display? Diego Rivera had a huge collection he'd amassed. He built this pyramid to display it. part of a museum complex. The history of culture and civilization. <laughs>